and welcome to our how-to video tutorial series. Today we will be transferring a chromoblast image onto a cotton tote bag. The following items will be required for this process. A cotton bag, sawgrass chromoblast inks, two sheets of protective paper, we suggest newsprint, chromoblast media, and scissors. To begin the process, create your images using a graphics program such as CorelDRAW or Photoshop. Be sure to check with the manufacturer of the substrate to see if there are templates available to aid in the setup. When sending the design to the printer, use the proper settings in your Sawgrass color management software to ensure the best quality. Print out the image that you created and wish to apply using Sawgrass Chromoblast inks and a compatible inkjet printer. Set the temperature of your press to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Adjust the pressure to high, which is approximately 60 psi. Lastly, set the timer for 35 seconds. Once the heat press has reached 375 degrees Fahrenheit, you are ready for pressing. Place a sheet of protective paper onto the bottom platen of the press. Lie the cotton bag onto the paper. Now put the media print side down at the desired location. Place another sheet of protective paper, close the press, and begin the sublimating process. Open the press and remove the top layer of protective paper. Quickly and smoothly peel the media off the fabric. This should be done smoothly to prevent any blurring of the image. Remember to tension the fabric in both directions to reduce the hand. Note that the items will be extremely hot. There are many other different types of white and light colored cotton and cotton blend fabrics such as t-shirts, jackets, jeans, and many more. Thank you for watching our video tutorial. For more information, please contact us today.